Hi, in today's video, I'm going to talk you through how to set up and configure Cloud Management Gateway. Cloud Management Gateway is a new way to do internet-based client management supported in SCCM current branch version 1610. The first thing you need to do when setting up Cloud Management Gateway is you need to create a few certificates. The first certificate we will talk about is your web service certificate. This certificate is used by Cloud Management Gateway when authenticating with the clients. We highly recommend that you get this certificate from a public CA and have the certificate subject name match the public domain of your company. The next certificate that you'll need to create is the management certificate. This certificate is used so that SCCM can authenticate with Azure and configure and set up the instances of Cloud Management Gateway. After you create this certificate, you need to go into the Azure portal, which I'll pull up now. You go under Settings, Management Certificates, and then you hit Upload to upload your management certificate. The third certificate is the root cert for the client's PKI certificate. In SCCM Current Branch 1610, Internet-based clients still do require the use of PKI certificates to authenticate with SCCM. So this is the root of that PKI certificate. Now that we've talked through the certificates, let's load up the admin console. The first thing you need to do in order to set up Cloud Management Gateway is you actually need to enable the feature. Now this feature is considered pre-release, so the first thing you do is you go under Overview, Site Configuration, Sites, and you choose Hierarchy Settings. Under the General tab, you will see a checkbox that says Consent to Use Pre-Release Features. You need to check that box. For the purpose of the demo, I already checked it. You say OK. Now you can go under Cloud Services, Updates and Servicing Features. You'll see Cloud Management Gateway listed. You right-click and say Turn On. This will now turn on Cloud Management Gateway. At this point, you do need to restart your admin console so that you will see the Cloud Management Gateway UI. Another thing to think about, because there is the use of PKI with the client still, go into Site Configuration Sites, right-click and say Properties, and go to the Client Computer Communication tab. Here, you want to make sure that you've selected the Use PKI Client Certificate when available, and also, consider what you need for the client's check of the certificate revocation list. If your CRL list is internet-facing, you can leave this checked. If not, you may need to uncheck it. Okay, so now we can go ahead and create the instance of Cloud Management Gateway. So I will go back to Overview, Cloud Services, Cloud Management Gateway, and choose Create. The first thing it's going to ask me for is the subscription ID. The next thing will be the management certificate. So I browse to that certificate that we discussed earlier. On this next page, the first thing you should specify is the web service certificate for the certificate file. Again, I browse to the web service certificate. I give the PIN. I say OK. From this, we automatically detect what the FQDN for your service will be. And then last, it's asking for the client certificate root. So I give it that third th certificate. And here again, we have another th check for client certificate revocation. And this again is controlled by whether that list is internet facing. On this page, we let you configure an alert we have for Cloud Management Gateway. We will raise an alert if the outbound data transfer exceeds a certain limit and you can set the warning limit and the critical limit. I'm going to leave these at the defaults. Hit Next. OK, now I can close. At this point, as you can see, it has started to provision my Cloud Management Gateway instance. Now, not only do you need a Cloud Management Gateway instance, but you also need to set up the Cloud Management Gateway connector, which is a site role. So you go under Site Configuration, Server and Site System Roles. You right-click and say Add. In the list of site roles that you can add, you will see Cloud Management Gateway Connection Point. Click that and hit Next. Here you can choose which Cloud Management Gateway instance you want to talk to. In my test environment, there's only one instance, so it's auto-selected, and it has the region of that instance. 
I hit next a few times, and now that role is off and installing. Now, not only do you need to set up the Cloud Management Gateway connection point, but you also need to enable the management points that can be accessible for internet traffic. So I'm clicking on my management point role, I right-clicked properties, and now I will check Allow Configuration Manager Cloud Management Gateway Traffic. Now this instance of the MP will accept traffic that's coming through Cloud Management Gateway. If we go back, it looks like that the Cloud Management Gateway is still provisioning. This may take a few minutes. Let's wait until it's finished. Okay, so our instance of Cloud Management Gateway has finished provisioning, and you can see here under the overview in Cloud Service in the Cloud Management Gateway node that we now have our instance of Cloud Management Gateway, and it's listed as ready. So we should be all set and ready to go. Now we just need to validate with a test client that our instance is actually working. So to do that, first I'm going to switch to my test client. There's a few things. This client was already installed and registered with a PKI client certificate. However, because we just installed Cloud Management Gateway, it doesn't actually know about the internet-based MP yet. So every 24 hours, the client will refresh its MP list itself. However, for the sake of this demo, we would like to just speed that up. So I'm going to restart the agent. The other item that you can do is that if you're in a test environment where the client may be on the internet and the intranet is you can go into the registry and under the CCM security key, set the client always on internet key to true, which I've already done for the purpose of this demo. So I've refreshed the MP list and I set this client to always be on the internet. If I go into the configuration manager control panel applet, we'll see that the connection type is always internet and under network you can see that the FQDN it has for the MP is actually the FQDN of the cloud management gateway instance in Azure. So this client is all set up and ready to talk to our site system via the uh, cloud management gateway. So I'm going to go back to my site server and I can go into the assets and compliance and show you that under devices, all desktop and server, you can see this uh, device is showing up. Showing up is green because it's active. Because it's actively connected via client notifications via the cloud management gateway. I've created a test package program which basically just runs Notepad. So I'm going to deploy this as required and I'll say to all systems because what I want is I want this to deploy and pop up Notepad to show that the connection with Cloud Management Gateway is working. So I'll set it as required, I'll set it to be available and run as soon as possible. I'll go through the wizard here and I'll finish. So I'll just give it a few seconds for that package to be created. But now I can go back to that device and use client notifications to force it to get policy. Okay, it says the client's online is going to be notified. So perfect, that will just take a few seconds. Let's go back to the client. And we'll be able to say that it is requesting policy, perfect. And so I'm going back to the server now because what I wanna do is I wanna show you that you can actually view the traffic of Cloud Management Gateway from the admin UI. If you go under Administration, Cloud Management Gateway, and look at Connection Points, you can see that it's connected. You can see the number of requests that have been coming in. And if you go to the Role Endpoints, you can actually see the traffic coming in and out of each of the different Role Endpoints, which there has been some traffic for BGB and System and MP because we were requesting traffic. Now we should be able to go back to that client and Notepad there it is, is running because the package installed. So as you can see, we set up and configured Cloud Management Gateway, and then we used a client and deployed a package program which launched Snowpad to show you that the communication between client server is working. We also showed you how in the monitoring you can see the traffic from each endpoint. I hope this was helpful and thank you so much.